Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're talking about M-Tracker Surface. We're gonna be doing a basic mesh tracking tutorial where we add something to a t-shirt. So let's get started. Once you have installed M-Tracker Surface via M-Installer, it can be located in your effects. To apply, simply click and drag onto the clip that you would like to track. You'll notice you're presented with some on-screen controls here. If you hover over, you will see a text indication of what these are actually going to do. So on this image, we do want to track my shirt and I do not want this to be a perspective track. I want this to be a mesh track. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the mesh option. And then let's go back to our Bezier shape tool and I will click and draw the area that I want to track. So I'm gonna track kind of a big surface here so that we can get all of that mesh information. So you can see that the mesh has been applied. You can change your mesh density with this slider here and then you can regenerate your mesh if you would like. I'm gonna leave it as default as this worked pretty good in our tests. So now let's go ahead and go to our tracker and we will track forwards with the automatic setting here. All right, now if we would like to take our playhead, we can scrub through and just kind of check that mesh. And you can see that that is warping and doing everything right along with the shirt, which is exactly what we want. So the next thing I'd like to do is over in our inspector, you can see we have all of our layers and our layer information, and then we come down to our drop zone. So I'm going to click my drop zone well, and I'm going to apply our balloon here. And you can see that that's applied to the shirt. And then let's go to apply clip. So under effect, you can see that we have track and image selected. If you go to track, you can see that that track will go beyond the bounds of our lines here. I am just going to change that back to track and image because I'm going to go down to our pan and scale options in the drop zone. And we're just going to go ahead and scale that down until that looks right and about where I want it for my shirt. Now beneath here, we see image settings. We've got different blending modes. I'm gonna change this to multiply as that looks the best on this particular composition. I'm gonna bring my image opacity down just a bit, maybe 0.95. And then over here, we can use our quarter pin tools to just kind of make that look like it is more appropriately angled for the way that I'm sitting. And we're just clicking those handles and adjusting as we need. And then below here, we also have our move brush and our bulge and pinch and then our iron to fix any uh, changes that we may have made. But honestly, this looks really good. This works well. I'm going to go ahead and scrub through really quickly and you can see how our shirt is warping. Our balloon is warping along with our shirt perfectly. So that's great. We can go really quickly into our image effects and I'm going to go ahead and add a blur. So you can see over in our inspector, when I do select that, we have the different options for our blur or we have this on-screen control for intensity. And I'm just gonna bring that down a bit. We can enable our motion blur. So that's obviously, you're only gonna notice that when we are in motion. And then I'm also going to add our grain so that that is having a bit of grain and movement within the logo. And then last thing is I'm going to do my levels and I'm going to go in my black point and just bring that up a bit just so it's better matching the scene there. So that looks really good. All right, and that is about it. Thank you so much for checking out this really quick tutorial on tracking with the mesh tools in M-Tracker Surface. There are more advanced tutorials coming your way, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.